Hello guys, what's up? It's uh, Zenotic here, back at it again, and uh, welcome to another episode of Ratchet & Clank Going Commando on the PC SX2 emulator in 4K, baby So yeah, we're actually going to head straight to uh, Maktar Resort and uh, do the first uh, space combat section in this game So let's just uh, head right on there, man, let's go Whoopash Nebula, man. So there we go, we got the first uh, space combat section of this game. Just collect some raritanium, very important stuff. I, yes, I can. Alright, now I know that the space combat in this game is uh, not really that loved as far as I know. But uh, I think it's pretty good, to be honest. And I enjoy this much more than the uh, ship combat in the first game. And also, I have played a lot of the prototype versions of this game. And uh, <laughs> let me just say, guys, the space combat improved a lot throughout the development. Like, a lot, a lot. Prototypes that I have tried is from like um, two months before the game released, I think. And even then, it was. Uh, yeah, like the enemies pathing and stuff it was kind of buggy, so the combat wasn't as smooth at this, uh, as it is right now, you know. Give me a shield, please. Somebody give me a shield. I really want some more retinium as well, though. I want those ship upgrades later on. Also, another fun fact: the. Um, Booster upgrade actually used to be the uh, like it, it used to look like just uh, how the ship's boosters looked in uh, the third game, like having two exhausts instead of uh, three, you know. I'll probably just upload a video about that actually, just a small short video. Will probably just be around uh, <laughs> a minute or something, but. Uh, I'm going to start uploading like small, small little fun fact videos about Ratchet and Clank and the uh, and the beta versions and stuff like that, you know. Hopefully, some of you guys will be interested in that as well. Enemy fighters defeated. There we go. We're done. Here we are, man. Maktar Nebula. Or Maktar Resort. Now this level right there is probably the earliest uh, memory I have of this game. I remember uh, when I got to this planet, I was just standing right here. For probably about 15 minutes or something, just looking around. Looking at everything and firing with my Lancer, I thought the gun was so cool. And uh, just listening, listening to the soundtrack, man. Like then, I was like three or four years old, I think. Probably three when I think about it. I don't know. I'll have to double, uh, double check that. Yeah, let me just uh, check the shop real quick. All right, we didn't have shit that we could buy. But yeah, really, really nice uh, level right there. The soundtrack is just so nice. Ok, 
kill all the enemies, man. Alright, so I'm actually going to try to get the skill point. Right here. One destroyed already. Two destroyed already. What is this? Oh, come on, Ratchet. Oh, we have to destroy these. We should be good now. Give me the damn skill point, man. Probably not going to get it. Huh? Now we only got one more here. But there's a couple of more, a uh, couple more of them uh, later on. So we're going to try on those as well. Let me just grab these balls. Actually, I get some mad OCD and blew up anyway. Perfect timing. It's like those bolts are just screaming at me. They're like, collect me, man. Collect me. And I can't resist it. I'm going to have to uh, use our uh, chopper uh, as well. Trying to get these two. No oh, man. No. There we go. Perfect. Collateral. Man, I can't wait to get the box breaker. Love that gadget. Where is it the gadget? Modification? I don't know what to call it. I don't know what it... Um, what ca uh, category it is in, in this game. And I really want to upgrade the gravity bomb as well. At least before the B2 brawler fight, you know. Damn, Brown. There we go. Triple kill. And that's it. Oh, never mind. One more? Nope. Now we're done. Yeah. Schmack. Alright, let's grab that uh, platinum bolt right here first. Before we proceed. And that's how you grab it, guys. That's the correct way to do it. There's a nice side flip and a hyper strike. Or you can just use these boxes as well. Whatever's faster. Jump between walls by jumping toward a wall and pressing X again as you hit it. Ah, oh, thank you for the info, help desk lady. To aim weapons more accurately, press and hold L1. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably going to get a lot of ammo here as well. From these slot machines. Now give me the skill point, man. Oh. Here we go. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I'm just missing everything. Oh, there we go. We got a uh, gravity bomb uh, ammo. Very nice. Give me some more, please. I don't mind, I promise.
Damn, you actually got up. What was that? Oh, it's not where I was aiming. One more gravity bomb ammo. One more. You probably got the max ammo soon, pretty soon. Ah, there we go. We got it. Perfect. Just some uh, bolts. <laughs> Go. Let's try to get the upgrade right here. Oh man, what are you doing? Ah, oh, it upgraded. Skip to the animation. <laughs> Alright, let's try to upgrade the Lancer then. Grab some ammo, never mind, we don't need it. Ah, it's arena time. Is everyone ready for tonight's mega battle? Introducing from nowhere in particular, this guy. If he can make it past all of our gladiators, he'll take home this brand new electrolyzer. If he can't make it past our gladiators, he'll receive a consolation prize. Let the games begin! Man, you ain't got chance against me. You smack all of them. Where are you at? There it is. Man, the upgrade, uh, upgrade cutscenes in this game, man. They're so nice. I wish they would have uh, brought those back as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the first and, uh, well, only winner of the Gladiator Games, this guy you're now eligible for our championship series come back and fight again for big cash prizes big cash prizes you say all right let's go for the chain blade then and the b2 brawler of course easy bolts chain blade There it is. Team Blade's dead. B2 Brawler, you're next. Ah, oh, you hit me. Oh, I know. I always found it so hard to dodge these, man. Ah, oh, there we go. We got him. You can't just jump like this over them, though, but they do hit you sometimes. Let's get the uh, Blitz Cannon. And uh, we're actually going to do these two uh, just real quick again. While we listen to this epic soundtrack, man. This, like this soundtrack right there. Goddamn crazy, actually. I recommend you guys just go to SoundCloud right now and listen to this shit. Just without any gameplay. Oh man.
Where the heck did my XP go, man? <laughs> I killed him with the Blitz Cannon. Oh shit, I forgot to buy more ammo. Oh. You don't matter. Oh man. Alright, please scan time. Down and out. Alright, there we go. Let's quit. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, so we got the electrolyzer puzzle, the first one. Pretty easy puzzles, man, not gonna lie. I actually prefer the uh, infiltrator uh, puzzles. To be completely honest. Hey, this would make a nice souvenir for Clank. <laughs> hey! You have no idea what you're involved in. Return to your old galaxy immediately. Or this will happen to you! Or this will happen to you. Farewell. Fucking great pictures, Ratchet. <laughs> you look real good. I gotta say. Yeah, pretty fun stuff. Man, the humor in these games were so much better. What happened? Oh, I know what happened. They tried to become way too family friendly. That's what happened. More family friendly. And... Uh, more stereotypical, you know. Alright, Womanu. I'll try to remember. Thanks for the info. And there we got the empty nanotech box. Where did the nanotech go, man? Who stole it? These lights as well, like those. That one right there. They didn't used to uh, blow up as well. They, the light just broke. I wonder why they changed that actually. But uh, I don't mind. I think it's cooler that they blow up anyway. The more stuff that blows up, the better. It's just how it works in this game. Which reminds me of the box breaker in uh, Cracking Time, man. Eh? What a bummer that was. Like in uh, Tools of Destruction. Like it wasn't that much that could break from the box breaker. It wasn't that much stuff that could break like at all in the in that game, but there was a couple of stuff. But uh, in a cracking time they nerfed the hell out of it. They nerfed it so that the box breaker couldn't break uh, like normal stuff. They could only break boxes. It was pretty damn sad, to be honest. In Tools of Destruction, it, it at least broke everything else. Like environment, stuff like light... Light poles and stuff like that, you know? But in uh, Cracking Time, they just completely scrapped that. I wonder why they did it. Maybe frame rate issues? Perhaps? Are probably the reason. I 
Ah, this glitch again. <laughs> it's happened so much in this game, man. Go bam, man. Oh, it's a must when you're here to destroy everything, you know. Or else you come in Wretched and Clank Jail. That's just how it works. And I really wonder why there's uh, these light stuff. I don't know what, what it is, actually. Are they supposed to be lights? Why did I just take damage, man? I better be careful now. I don't wanna die. This is pretty easy stuff. When you've done it a couple of times, like I have, you know exactly where to put it. And I forgot this one. Alright, jamming array, let's go. Disable the jamming array. Destroy the six transponders. All right. Thanks for the info. Oh wow! I crushed him. Never done that before. I didn't know that was possible. Hit the exposed rods to destroy oh, that's the pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. You learn something new every day. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, pick up the Platinum Bolt. Let's just go pick that up real quick. Thank you. This uh, mission is actually pretty cool as well. Spherical worlds. Ah, uh, I glitched, but it uh, got fixed. Bang, bang, and we're out of ammo. That's pretty sad. Oh, we got some more. Man, she give me more blitz cannon ammo, man. The blitz cannon next is actually one of those guns that I feel like it feels like it does more damage before you upgrade it, you know. Or it might just be a visual thing. I just always felt like it looks like it does more damage before you upgrade it. I don't know why uh, why that is. But uh, it's like that for me at least. Anybody else? Post it in the comments, man. If you agree. The upgraded version is probably better though, but... Uh, like, one thing that it looks like is... That it looks like this one shoots a lot longer, you know? Like the reach is longer. Upgraded might as well just be longer as well. I'm I got no clue It's all about the feeling, you know How does the weapon feel? How does the gun feel? I guess what I'm trying to say is that it is that uh, it's important that when you upgrade a weapon it should also feel better it shouldn't only be better but also feel better 
You know what I'm saying? I'm just ranting right now. I don't know why I'm even ranting. But it's a pretty cool weapon as well after you upgrade it. I can't really remember the name of it though. What's the name of it when you upgrade it? We'll find out shortly anyway. We're sure going to upgrade it throughout this playthrough. And I think this was the last one. Yeah, it was. Good work, my boy. You are proving to be invaluable in this underwear. Anywho, it appears the thief is now under the protection of thugs for less. But I may have found a way for you to insinuate their operation. Is it dangerous? No, no, no. Well, uh, actually, yes, it is. Good. Take a look at this. The wind in your hair, the sun on your skin, the bugs in your teeth. We are the Desert Riders. Before I became a desert rider, I didn't fit in any worse. I had low self-esteem, bad breath, and a thing for ladies' undergarments. <laughs> but these guys understand me. They really do. Yeah, I'm just here for the bake sales. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, I also make these cute gloves for all the guys. So if you've got what it takes, use this temporary membership to enter the most grueling hoverbike race in the galaxy. Win it and become one of us. Desert Riders, the number one leisure choice of Thugs for Less. Desert Riders all use Megacorp bikes, so I just had to pull a few strings. Contract me as soon as you get more indignation. Fizz Widget, out. Alright, so we're actually pretty much done with this planet right now. I don't think there is anything else I should do. Now, I'm going to save the rest of the skill points for later. When I get a uh, better wrench and uh, box breaker. I think I need a box breaker here at least. But yeah, guys. Next episode, we're going to Megapolis, I think it's called the city. And I think the planet's name is Eldora. I have to check. I gotta check real quick, man. I'm not really that good at names. <laughs> that's just how I am, you know? And Darko, that's it. Ah, oh, I love this. Barlow is such a great planet. But yeah, guys. Let's end up uh, end of the episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, the next episode will be shortly, man. Have a nice day, everyone. And uh, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.